one of the viewer asked this question so this video is about solving that particular question so the question is he has 550 uh, I mean 5500 images in a folder and he wants to move that to 220 folders that he has created and he wants to pick 25 images uh, randomly and move it to 220 folders and um, each time you when you copy move so this is kind of uh, an interesting question so I solved it I'm gonna upload this video hopefully it helps him uh, in solving his uh, problem so the chart here explains so the problem is you can have n number of images it does not have to be uh, 5500 it's 5500 it can be 10,000 or even uh, like 10 images in the folder and that's your source folder and you will have uh, the destination folder the destination folder you may have created folders or you may have not if you have created we're going to place that particular portion of images that we're going to pick which is 25 it could be 5 3 it doesn't matter it depends on how much you define so in this example sake we're going to pick 25 images and put it on the folders which are available if there is no empty folders available we're going to create the new folders let's go through this chart uh, one more time so that we get a better understanding of how we're going to uh, solve this so the question is is that 25 images left so that's the first thing that we're going to validate so we're going to get hold of that source folder and we're going to validate if there is a 25 images left in that source folder if it is s then we're going to copy that 25 images randomly so there is no particular order of choosing the images and then we're going to see if there is any empty folders available so we're not going to use the folders which are already engaged we're going to pick the empty folders if it is yes then place all the images into that folder if there is any images left then we're gonna go and repeat the cycle again if there is no images left then we would end if there is any images left there's another condition which we need to check if that particular uh, in folder has only 25 images or even less than that if it is not 25 images then we would go uh, select all the images so that basically here it, it is that if it is greater than or equals 25 it would go to no and select all the images and again look for the empty folder if there is no folder it would create so you, you got the drill so if there is no 25 images or greater than 25 images it would create it would select all the images and then it would look for the empty folder if there is no empty folder it would create the empty folder and it will place all the images in that folder so i have already created the program um, over here we're going to run it and see how it looks um, and then I'll explain the line by line and um, let me go through the folders that I have in place so this is the source folder time screen and this is the destination folder time screen 2 basically this one I'm going to get it off this is the machine created it was my previous attempt of executing that particular program but in this fol folder we have 10 images and we're going to move 3 uh, per copy to the folders empty folders which are available so all these folders are empty you can see uh, there's nothing um, in that so the, there'll be one left over that will be pasted into a new folder which will be created by the machine itself and uh, so that's the folder i just deleted it was my previous uh, execution so we're gonna execute this the program and see um if it if it works uh, fine or not yeah so let me open the pycharm and let me run this code all right so as you can see it says uh, we have 10 images to distribute and we have three existing folders in the destination and it moved 333 three, three to all the three folders and then one image to the new folder which it has created called create machine created one um, and then there are zero images remaining to copy and there are four folders created at the end of the execution at the start the destination folder had only three folders and now it has four folders so now if i can go back to the folder structure you can see the change so we had 10 uh, images in this folder now it has nothing it's blank all the images are distributed to folder one folder three folder four and for the leftover that particular image it was creating the uh, it created the new folder called machine created underscore one and pasted the image to that particular folder so that's solves the problem but uh, what happened in the program level let's go through one by one 
it's i'm not going to go in depth about installing the pycharm and everything i've explained everything in the previous video but there is one difference that happened in this video the previous video i took help from python forums official python documents and then uh, stack overflow to look for all the concepts but this time i used chat gpt's help to figure the solution a very uh, early um, than uh, the previous one and the, the hiccups i had with chat gpt was uh, i i need to make my prompt right and there were one error that i felt so hard explaining chat gpt to fix it but um i, I fixed it on my own um, i'll explain what that error is so basically i encourage you to use chat gpt to write uh, the program but the only catch here is you should know what the program has been generated what the program looks like you should know what you are executing if you're not capable of doing that there is a risk and um, you may not get the same results so uh, let me explain the program it's not uh, that difficult to solve this problem so this is the source folder and this is the destination folder obviously so time screen time screen one and then we have uh, another variable called image files where we store list of all image files so we go to the source folder we copy all the images and put together into one particular variable called image files yeah just leave that there and then we used a library called uh, shuttle this is something we use to move the files and copy the files uh, all those OS related uh, usually I mean activities can be done uh, using the shuttle yeah and then we used OS to play with the directories so to list the directories get the folder name for all sorts of things and we use random library to shuffle the images yeah so where we were so we were at the line number 10 where we copied all the images to the variable called image files and then at line number 13 we shuffle the images into uh, multiple um, uh, shuffling not in, in a particular order it could be in a different order so we are shuffling because that's the requirement the, the person wants to pick the random images then we are creating the list of the existing folder so the same way we did for images here we are collecting what are all the folders that i have on the destination folder so we are collecting all the folder names and then we are printing just the welcome one and we have uh, so many images we are calculating how many images you have before execution and how many folders you have on the destination folder before execution so this function uh, here and the, the bottom i'll come to this this is to create the new folder but for now it will not be executed it's just a standalone function until it's called so here at line number 36 the while loop has been used and here is where you need to make a change so for my case i have kept only three and you need to update all the threes to 25 um, in this way so you just have to update this into 25 um let me reverse that i don't have 25 so i'm gonna i'm just gonna keep it as three for now so here what we are doing is um we are going through the list of this uh, images and then if the length of the overall image is greater than three in your case it'd be 25 then we are assigning um, the three files only the three files uh, to images to uh, move okay so that's what we are doing here and then if the destination uh, i mean the existing destination folder um, is not there there is no folder exists then only we create a new folder as you can see so first we get in this in this code we are getting only three images from the list and then over here we are copying um, i mean we are looking for the folders to paste these images if there is no folders we create a new folder if there is a folder in the else condition then we pick the path of that particular uh, folder then using the path we are moving the image from the source to the destination uh, over here so we are using images to move and you see images to move yeah and then we are, we are moving the images um, there so and then uh, in the try what we're going to do we're going to um, we're going to actually using the shuttling to move uh, the images so one by one if there is an um, uh, exemption which is where uh, the image uh, image type is not what we expected so if you look at the star the image type should be either jpeg png or uh, a jpg if your image type or file type is something different just add a comma and add your file name uh, over there i mean the file type alone 
so remember this is very important this particular line it would only copy jpeg png and jpg if you want any other file types to be included you need to amend that in this list so that will be taken care and so that's what happening here and then at the end of the execution it will tell you how many files has been moved um, and then as you can see here it's like uh, how many files i mean the, the moved three images to this three images to this in this in your case it will be 25 images to this particular folder if there is any images left over then it would create a new uh, folder um, for that and uh, and overall it will tell you how many folders that it is and then um, it was so it was three folders and after the execution it is now four folders that we have uh, on this list so that's the quick overview i ran through very fast uh, please play it back if you play it again if you want to understand it uh, very clearly so um, the code is there in in my uh, git repo you can uh, go to the git repo i i leave the link below so all you have to do is just get this file and uh, put it in your pycharm and run it so in the previous video i explained how to create the pycharm uh, uh, project and how to install the pycharm uh, and things you may you can even execute if you have any different id which supports uh, python execution you can even um, use that to execute that let me take you to the um basically yes yeah that's the one so that's the git so you have a, a folder moment and in this folder moment you have this file all you need is this file uh, forget about the main you don't need main uh, all you need is the uh, photo of dot pi uh, that's all that's all you need and let me show you the chat gpt in fact because uh, it will help you next time if if you have any questions so this are the so many questions i asked to fix this particular uh, program you can use the chat gpt to get the actual uh, code um, all you need to do is what it generates and you need to know how to fix it as you can see it was just, just the one solution that provided me uh, the answer that that's all my problem basically i need to ask multiple questions and i need to debug yeah going back to the debug thing that i did on my own uh, which i struggled to get the answer from the chat gpt is that it was giving me uh, the wrong folder counts here and i fixed it by adding this variable which is final destination folder at line number 63 so what happened was the folder that was um the, the variable that was used to get the list of folders available in the source is basically created at the start of the execution so when it printed it got a wrong value it generated the wrong value so what i did once the execution was completed up until line number 62 i started to count the number of folders at the end once everything all the executions are done then it helped me so this variable helped me um so hope it solves your problem uh, let me know if there is any uh, questions or issues that you have uh, when you execute this program yeah uh, so thanks so much for watching this video thanks